morning. Yesterday was my dad's birthday, that's why I didn't record a video. Also, someone came by and insulted me, that was fun. And in the evening, my friend had a little gathering, which is what I want to talk about now. Because a person came, um, never met them before, you know, hi, I'm German. Uh, first reaction is going nine with like, like shit eating grin or something. That's a bit rude. I'm just, you know, I'm just a bit upset still because it was my dad's birthday yesterday. So I was actually thinking about Germany and our culture and my family culture for the entire day, the entire day. And I'll have you know, my family has really good memes. I grew up in a meme loving family before memes were a thing on the internet. Suck it. So anyway, so this person also at some point during the evening, not much later, did a fucking Nazi salute in front of me. And not just once. What is wrong with you? You hear that someone is German and the first and only thing you talk about is, oh yeah, where I'm from, there's there's um, these people and, and, and they, they call themselves neo-Nazis and then you actually do a fucking Nazi salute. Are you a fucking neo-Nazi? That's what I want to know, because there is such a thing as crypto-fascism, where you don't outright say that you are a Nazi because of the repercussions, <laughs> obviously. Because it is, for good reasons, not accepted in civilized society. What is wrong with people? What is wrong with people? So anyway, now I'm writing, oh man, oh man, now I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm working on now, now, because that's gonna be, that's gonna be a separate video and it's gonna be banging. But also, um, because it was my dad's birthday, I started, you know, a couple plans for what I could do with my family once I'm famous, you know, a couple projects to work on. Because my dad used to, um, when we, when we were, like, when me and my sister were really small, my dad would uh, take us to bed and then tell us stories about uh, the House Pfeifflinchen, which is a word he made up. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't exist, but they're basically like, like the traditional magic equivalent would be pixies and fairies, but you know, like, or gnomes or trolls, like the really benevolent small nature spirits. That's what they remind me of now in hindsight. And um, he told the stories of them, of the house Pavlinchen. Actually more like the borrowers maybe from, I've never seen that movie, but yeah, the borrowers is probably the closest equivalent. And he just used these stories as a vehicle, as a medium of retelling the little adventures that the family had throughout the day and I don't remember a single specific story because he just made them up on the spot. But it was such a nice thing. And I feel like my dad doesn't give himself enough credit for his creativity and coming up with this stuff. So yesterday when I was at the little gathering, we had a little fire and everything. I got out my uh, drawing stuff and I came up with a little figure myself as, you know, a little nature spirit. I'm actually going to show you. Oh. It's not, the background isn't done yet, the background isn't done yet, but this is what I came up with, which is really cute, it's a cute little magic witch, who also is very good friends with a demon of time, because that's on brand, it's probably just Photomikas on there, but we're not gonna, you know, we're gonna name any names. So I'm thinking, I finish this drawing and I leave space below and my family can just fill in their own ideas and then they can send it back to me and I can turn it into a comic book for them. That's the idea. That's my that's my project I want to do with my family. Because, yeah, preparing for the new Jupiter cycle, I'm just spending time now, taking a bit of a holiday, setting up all my projects. And once May 11 hits, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So that's my five minutes done for today. Fuck neo-Nazis. 
Um, they've got a big storm coming. I'm going to see to that.